Hi, I'm Peggy and this is Brian and we're here today to talk to you about NetIQ Validator, a powerful tool for testing and developing identity management drivers. Brian, tell us about, uh, about Validator and how it works. Okay, very good. Validator is basically a way for us to be able to eliminate all the redundant tasks of testing. Uh, whenever you test an IDM driver, you have to create users and modify users over and over again and that takes a lot of time. And so Validator allows us to be able to automate those tasks. So let me show you a little bit about how Validator works. First of all, the, uh, the situation or the, the environment that we have here for this demonstration is just simply an, an Active Directory driver in the Identity Vault. So we will be testing the, uh, the Active Directory driver in this, in this scenario with Validator. Okay. So within Validator, the first thing we have to do is establish our connections to whatever data sources we have. In this case, we've got two data sources, EDIR, which is our identity vault, and Active Directory, which is, of course, the target system that we're, we're working on. Uh, so if we want to take a look at those connections, we just see that they're just simple connectivity information, ports and, and users and so forth. Uh, here's the one for Active Directory. Within Validator, once we establish these, we want to just test to make sure that these connections are okay. Uh, no use running a test if you can't connect to your target system. There's one other thing that I want to explain about Validator, and that is the use of variables. This allows us to be able to set up uh, specific things about our environment so that we can reference these variables over and over again. Uh, like, for example, an Active Directory test DN. We're going to be using this user called Bob Jones. And, and in E directory, we'll be using B Jones. Uh, and so when we build our tests, we will just reference these variables. So now let's go on to a testing scenario. Here is a typical testing scenario when you first start out when you're testing on identity management driver. First of all, we want to set up to make sure that our environment is clean. Our test user doesn't exist in E directory or Active Directory. And we do that simply by saying we want to run the cleanup actions, which simply just delete our users. Then within our test, we are creating a user in E directory. That's okay. the trigger. Then we want to make sure that the user exists in E directory. And that's mostly for this particular demonstration, so you know that we're not, uh, that, that this is an actual demonstration. And then we check to make sure the user exists in Active Directory. That way we know that the identity, identity management driver is working correctly. So let's go ahead and just run this test, and then we'll get into uh, looking at some of the details about what this thing is accomplishing during this test. And we can see that the test was a success. We also have a results tab that outlines exactly everything that happened within this test. You can see that we were deleting the object, that we created the object, and so forth. Let's go ahead and take this test and, uh, and use this test as a basis for another test that we need to create. So we'll just check it and duplicate it. And now let's go ahead and create a modify scenario where we want to make sure that the given name of a user is provisioned from E directory to Active Directory when we change the given name. So all of the rest of the test can remain the same with the exception of we'll just create a new action here and say that in E directory we want to replace the value of this particular user, their given name, with uh, Fred. His name was Bob to begin with, so we're renaming him, renaming him to Fred. Uh, once we've replaced that value in E directory, we want to make sure that it exists in Active Directory. So now we use the Active Directory connection and we say, let's go ahead and make sure that the given name of this particular user is Fred. And that's really all it is to it, all there is to it. So let's go ahead and run this to make sure it works. So right now, what's going on behind the scenes is validator is making sure that the user doesn't exist created it in Active Directory, or in E-Directory, and made sure that it existed in Active Directory. 
Then we modified the user in eDirectory and made sure that, uh, that that change made it to Active Directory. So we can see that, that doing those steps manually would have taken about two or three minutes to do, to do uh, with all of the traditional testing tools. But with Validator, we were able to set up the test once and now we can run this test over and over again whenever the driver changes to make sure that our identity management driver is indeed validated and working. So it's faster and you end up with a better quality driver. Much more quality, yes. So NetIQ Validator, a great tool for your identity management solution.